We just finished wrapping up over $5,500 worth of gifts for Salvation Army and the Angel Tree Program. Here's the story. Salvation Army, this is John. How may I help you? Hey, John, my name is uh, David Farwell. I'm calling from Axe Token, and uh, we've been looking pretty hard at your Angel Tree program. And what we'd like to do, or what we'd like to offer, is we would like to actually fulfill every unfulfilled wish that's still on these child's list uh, for this Christmas season. Well, I can send you over an unfulfilled wish list that we have, and, and we can kind of go from there. How does that sound? Yo, know, that would be absolutely ideal. We'd love to be able to take care of as much of this as, as, as possible. Okay, cool. So we'll, we'll get on an email right now and we'll kind of uh, coordinate the rest of it. It just gives us a ton of joy to realize that we're going to be able to play a part in these kids just having big smiles on their faces this Christmas. All right. Well, we just got the list from Don of the gifts that the kids are looking for for the Angel Tree program. We don't really have a whole lot of time to get this accomplished. So we're gonna see how much of this we can get purchased online. There's not really a whole lot in stock at Walmart. And so we're gonna to have to go find as many comparable items as we can. These are kids and I want them to, you know, be happy. So we're doing our best. Oh, hey, oh man. Well, Sammy and I have been, uh, we've been looking online, working pretty hard to find all the gifts that the, you know, the kids were asking for. But uh, unfortunately, we're just running into a lot of things out of stock. At least that's what it says online. Um, so I'm going to regroup, drink a cup of coffee, and then I think we're just going to grab the, the whole team and head over to Walmart and see what we can find that's actually in stock at the store. We are going to fulfill the angel tree list and we are gonna pick up the remainder of their list and some stuff that's not on it. David and I came last night, talked nice to them, they said we could film. We definitely gotta run a U-Haul for all the stuff that we gotta get. I was at the middle of the month and if we weren't stepping in, I mean, did these kids just not get Christmas? So it's, you know, so yep, that's what we're doing here. Hey guys, we just got here to Walmart. We walked in, some of us were overeating. We came here and we saw the Salvation Army tree. We realized all these tags say December 14th, which is today, which means if we don't pull all these and buy stuff right now, these kids don't get gifts. So we're already gonna buy out the rest of the list for the Salvation Army to make sure everyone in the area is getting to Christmas. We're gonna pull these tags, we're gonna take these, we're gonna buy this stuff now, and then we're gonna put it with the rest of our order and bring it on over to them. I want to say, and I met the Salvation Army in 1988. Okay. So from the beginning. From the beginning you've been involved. Okay. Yeah. But in most communities, you have one little Salvation Army church that takes, we have 300 plus families, so it's uh, over 900 children, and we get companies um, to volunteer. Walmart is an amazing partner. They partner with us nationally. So in all the Walmarts, you'll find angel trees and um, people shop and they uh, buy stuff and put it in the barrel and then every day we come and take it back to the church and sort it into family groups and Saturday's distribution. So we give it all out on Saturday. Oh wow. Yeah, so it's important I fill those. What about the children that the 14th company goes and nobody's grabbed their tax? So they just don't get Christmas? There's a couple companies who will do like a toy drive. We use those toy drive toys to fill, supplement. to the supplement. supplement. Okay. Yeah. We gotta get yep. this, right? Sold. Okay. Give me this as a kid with a dirt pile. Right? As we're walking around and I'm thinking about these kids that aren't getting anything for Christmas, if we weren't here doing this, it's really kind of filling me with a lot of excitement and uh, probably one of the most enthusiastic shopping experiences that I've ever had. This is, uh, this is pretty fun. Uh, 
Uh, the hatch isn't going to shut. And we got we got all the stuff and all these people. All the stuff plus all the stuff that we got yesterday. And the stuff, stuff we got to get tonight. Yeah, we got bicycles. Oh, we got, yeah, we got all we the stuff and all these people. Yeah, what happens when we combine everything? And we got to get bicycles. We could fit like maybe two bicycles. We're going to... Yeah, we're going to need a U-Haul. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's amazing. shopping for yesterday. As those come in, they all have a code. So this is family MUC 181. And you can see Helena, she's a 10 year old girl. She asked for a bike and a helmet, arts and crafts. So we put all of her stuff in a bag, plus she has a bike. And then at the bottom of this is her sister's bag. And, what we'll, and they also get clothes. You can see these are all extra clothes. So if this particular child doesn't have very much then we will add extra clothes. And so what we do is on Saturday, the families will come and um, we put the stuff directly in their car or some people don't have cars, so like their friends' cars. So they all get a box of food as well as a gift certificate to a local grocery store. So we have a complete Christmas. Well, that's it. A huge and a special thank you to Salvation Army for the Angel Tree program and all the families that they're going to be blessing this Christmas. It's been a huge privilege to be a part of it. A special thank you to Walmart and everything that they did to help out. And a special thank you to U-Haul and their partnership in this project as well. Most of all, and lastly, thank you to all of you, our community of investors, for all that you have done and your participation in this. It's been a huge privilege to represent you as we have helped out with the Angel Tree program. For all of you who are interested in learning more about our acts of kindness, like, follow, and subscribe on this video and all of our social programs. And we look forward to having a future conversation with you about how you can get involved with Axe Token. Visit Axe Token at www.axetoken.com and we look forward to the next time that we get to share with you our acts of kindness program.